Buick dealers present Olsen and Johnson in Firebell Fun for All with Marty May, J.C. Olsen, June Johnson. Music by Al Goodman. Settings by Frederick Fox. Costumes by Erna Schraps. Television production by Frank Burns. Staged and supervised by Ezra Stone. like you've got a half our nut house in here. What's going on anyway? Why, right, this is fireball. Fun for all. Have a couple of tickets. Oh, that's the Buick show. That's right. Now, if we had a car like Buick. Buick? You bet. Now, if you don't mind, Keeper, we'd like to get on with our show. Well, sure. Sure, sure. Who, who are you? Well, let's just say that I'm speaking for Buick. The car that speaks for itself on every highway with the brilliance of its fireball power, the unmatched comfort of its ride, the super smoothness of Dynavlo Drive. The car that invites you to come in and see for yourself that Buick's the buy. Wherever you see this familiar sign, the car that now invites you to hold on to your seats for the television joy ride of the week, the fireball fun for all with Olsen and Johnson behind the wheel.
said, what are you talking about? Who's going to take care of these? That's what I want. But you're late again. What? You're late. Look at all these lovely people waiting well, for us. Where were you? Wait till I explain to you. Well, what happened? I was down to my brother Charlie's house. Your brother Charlie? <laughs> they were celebrating. <laughs> what were they celebrating? Huh? What were they celebrating? They had a new bouncing baby this morning. A bouncing baby? That's right. Boy or girl? What? Boy or girl? <laughs> I don't know. It hasn't stopped bouncing yet. <laughs> You know, Charlie's got a great hop. Yeah, what'd he do? Every time a new baby's born at Charlie's house, he runs out and buys a new automobile accessory for his new Buick. For his Buick? That's right. What'd he buy for this last one? Come on, what'd he buy? A stoplight. Uh, <laughs> when, when the ninth baby came, he disappeared and we couldn't find him. Well, did you find him? We found him. Where? Down at the zoo. The zoo? What was he doing at the zoo? Throwing stones at the store. <laughs> And when the little baby came, he disappeared again. I know, and you found him at the zoo? That's right. Uh, throwing stones at the store? No. <laughs> what was he doing? The stork was throwing stones at Charlie! Yeah. <laughs> and when the twelfth baby came, he disappeared again. I know, and you found him at the zoo? That's right. Throwing stones at the stork? No. Uh, the stork was throwing stones at Charlie? No. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> Giving a pep talk to the rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this little nonsense continues up here, and it will be continuing up here, not only for the rest of the evening, but possibly for the next 37 weeks. And, and in our... What was that? How long? 37 weeks. Oh, no, no, no. No, I can't stand it, I tell you. It's driving me crazy, and I can't stand it. You anymore. can't stand what? This! Uh -huh. Get him! Oh. some of the greatest divers in the world today, but we hope you will forgive us that on account of the drought that we uh, had to substitute this uh, little diving pool of ours here for Mr. Munro and Grant. Munro and Grant! <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, do you have to get up nights? Are you disturbed in the wee hours of the morning by the restlessness of your children? Are you confined to the four walls of your room? Because if you are, we have a solution for your problem. Just call Olson and Johnson's babysitting service. Call Dracula 1234 or green apple, oh, oh, oh. Yes, 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 I know I'm late, but I'm waiting for the babysitters. The babysitters. Well, I have to have somebody to look after the children so I can be with you, darling. <laughs> Uh, Louis, show them what we got. Use the children. Look at uh, here. We're all set here. Everything is all set. Here's the gun. We got a revolver for them to shoot. Yeah. And uh, here is some dice for them to gamble with. Here is a cigar. And here is some match. And here is some razor blades. Well, that's all right for his father. But haven't you anything the children might enjoy? For the children. Oh, and here. Look at that little cat and canary. See him? Where's the canary? He's in the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Will you wait up for me? I beg your pardon. Will you wait up for me? Are you kidding with me? <laughs> Come on, here they are. The baby. Yeah. I've got a surprise for you. Yeah. Yeah. These are your mothers for tonight. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Sure. Wow. Sit there. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Shut up. Shut up. Don't forget I'm your boss. And you're nothing tonight. <laughs> Big shot. Boss over nobody. Uh, <laughs> boss over nothing. Yeah. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Don't forget to give him his formula. Give him? I'll get more of this formula. <clears throat> Are you <throat> sure this man knows how to handle children? Well, listen, he's a professional. Give her a demonstration of babysitting. Right now? Right now. Come here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's not in the contract. Shut up, will you, Louie? Let me play. <laughs> Where did you ever learn to kiss like that? In Central Park. <laughs> Out of a slow fountain. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Nighty, nighty! Pajamas. Yeah. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Here's your moo-moo. There's your moo-moo. 
You're getting to be a big boy for a moo moo. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, hello there, little children. This is Uncle Herman with your bedtime story. Once upon a time, there were three little bears. There was the Mama Bear, the Papa Bear... And who else? Maxie Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel uh, fans, here's the results of the seventh and highly uh, winner, Equipoise. Equipoise! Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. You... Here you are. Now we're in. Wait a minute. Come here. <laughs> Listen, look, it's 10 o'clock. Just time for your formula. Yeah, Have you got it. the formula ready? I got it right for you. Got all ready. Now let's uh, see what first we got to get. Let's see, six eggs. You want six eggs? Yeah, you got Here six eggs. Now you separate them. You what? You separate them. Oh. <coughs> now you take two steam teaspoons full of crunchy munchy crunchy. Just the crunchy Yeah, crunchy munchies. Put them right in there and like now that. Now you stir them well. Stir, stir them well. All right. That's fine. Now you get a bottle of milk. Milk? Milk. Bottle of milk. I don't see no milk, uh, but I, I've got an wait, idea right Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's no good. It's pre-war. What are you telling pre -war? me? Pre-war? Certainly it hey. is. Hey, wait a minute. Now I'll mix it. Taste. Mix it? What now, are you going to do? I'm going to taste it. No. I Not know, bad. but will the babies like it? I don't know about these babies, but I know some babies that would. <laughs> I know. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's give them a shot. A shot? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute, you know you're liable to kill somebody. Look here, look, you know those are real bullets? You're liable to shoot somebody sometime. Yes. Hey, oh, hey, he swallowed a bullet. Call the doctor. Call hey, the doctor! <laughs> I'm the doctor. Hey, what detained you? Yeah. Don't you know there's a kid here just swallowed a bullet? Yeah. Oh, I've got something for him here. Have you? What have you got? Get over here. Fella. Just take one of these pills. One of those pills. Swallow it. Yeah. Take another pill. Uh -huh. Swallow it. Yeah. Give him two of these every hour for the next six hours, and he'll cough it up. Uh, oh, incidentally, yeah. you know, uh, a transfusion wouldn't do you any harm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, I'm going to give him 14 of them right now. Right now? I'm not going to hang around here for six hours. Come on, I'll take care of it. Take care of it. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hello, who is this? Olson and Johnson? Well, hello there, Olson and Johnson. This is your do you want to take what you got or go for the jackpot program. Do I what? Do you want to take what you've got or go for the pot? <laughs> a quiz program? That's right. And if you answer the next four questions correctly, you'll be independent for life. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, your first question. Who yeah. is the father of our country? Washington. Washington. Congratulations. You have just won a brand new Buick and $20,000 in cash. Now. Yeah. Do you want to take what you got to go for the pot? Go for the pot. Go for the pot. Uh, go, uh, go. Uh, <laughs> All right, now. Yeah? Here is your second question. Yeah? Where does the President of the United States live when he is not fishing? Washington. Washington. Right, right. You have just won 50 Buick. 50 Buick. And $100,000 in cash. Now, do you want to take what you got to go for the pot? Go for the pot. Go for the pot. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, now here is the last question. Yeah? For 500 Buicks. 500 Buicks. And $1 million in $2 bills. Yeah. Here it is. Where is, who is buried in Grant's tomb? Washington. Washington. And he, look. He oh, cut the wire. He cut the wire. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. You little squirt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, start 
Buick. Boys, take a chance, take a chance, and you might win a convertible for 25 cents. 25 cents. Do I get your quarter? I got your quarter. Give me that money. I got your quarter. Just a moment, boys. I got your quarter down here. I got your dollar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean? I'd like to buy the ticket on this new convertible, I'm too. sorry, young man, but all I've got left is that one ticket. And I'm keeping that, see? Oh, you're positively sure this ticket is going to win for you, huh? Now, just a moment. You're not questioning my honesty, are you? You don't think I know that this is the winning ticket? Well, if you don't know, why don't you want to sell me the ticket? Listen, sell you the ticket? That's right. Instead of selling you the ticket, I'd rather give it to somebody else. Oh, Wait yeah? a minute. Uh, hey, kids. Here's a nice-looking young couple. You know, here, kids, I tell you what. Here's a chance to win a brand-new, beautiful, streamlined Buick convertible. And it comes to you through the compliments of Uncle Ole. Oh, thank you, Mr. Olsen. Well, don't mention it, and I hope you win. Hey, listen, if you think that ticket is going to win, you're dreaming. Yeah, you're dreaming. But may all of your dreams come true. And good luck. If only our dreams would come true. right car from every angle is a Buick convertible. You'll have to admit it looks like it was meant for fun. Just feast your eyes for a second or two. There's no point in trying to describe the beauty of it. Its long, low, racy lines speak so well for themselves. And listen. Hear the solid sound it makes when the door thuds home? That's a mighty reassuring sound that ought to tell you, even blindfolded, that this car is Buick built. Yet watch how easily that hefty door opens. Once unlatched, it almost opens itself. See? See how that big four foot wide door swings back and stays there with no danger of it swinging shut on your ankles or clothing as you exit. Inside, as you might guess from the big car look of it, there is room to spread yourself in relaxed comfort. More than five feet, three inches of seat width, for instance. Here, too, you find every modern convenience you ever wished for. The top raises and lowers automatically. And no, no, son, never mind demonstrating that. I'm sure everyone expects Buick to provide that modern convenience. But watch this. Watch how all windows may be raised and lowered from the driver's seat. Either front one, or either rear one. As well as from individual controls beneath each window itself. Also at the driver's fingertips is another automatic control that rides you back and forth into the front seat's most comfortable position. But the biggest feature in any Buick are beneath this familiar bomb sight. Under the hood, the space is chock full of high compression power. Made extra efficient by an exclusive combustion principle, Buick's own fireball piston design. While certainly the greatest of all Buick power features is Dynaflow Drive. Unlike any other drive in any other car, it makes driving easier and smoother than ever. You surge, slow down, even come to a complete stop with no clutch pushing or gear shifting to claim your attention and end the full day's driving in traffic or cross-country more rested than any driving ever left you. Yes, 
Wherever you go in a Buick convertible, you can drive all day and enjoy every minute of it. Still in love with the fun and glamour you get from a car that lets you feel as young and full of fun as you want to be. So, what's keeping you out of a Buick convertible? Isn't this where you really belong? There's one waiting you now at your Buick dealers. One you should certainly see at first hand and take a demonstration spin in. As for the cost, don't let that stop you. You'll find the price of this Buick convertible makes it mighty evident that more clearly than ever, Buick's the buy. Boys, you know television is different. Every little second counts. And I told you very distinctly that after the harmonica, wait till you saw the interior, not the exterior. Now, don't make another mistake like that again. Now, naughty, naughty. Shame is shame. Go back to your yo-yos. <laughs> of course, you know, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we, we really want to apologize for all this unnecessary shooting because, as you know, Olson and Johnson never have any shooting in their production. <laughs> and we want to assure you that we are not going to shoot any more revolvers during the show. No, we're coming back with cannons. <laughs> but you know, this, this being the day after 4th of July, we thought we'd retain a little uh, sort of a hop-along Cassidy technique, so we dug back in our old whole chest of memories, way back in 1912, and we found an old four-star cinema triumph entitled Vice versus Virtue, or Vice Versa. See? And we, we, we mix it up with a little modern touch, and in this we have a villain. Now, we'd like to have you enter the spirit of the old-fashioned melodramas and his the villain every time that you see him. So, uh, will you give me just a little preliminary hiss so that I know what to do? <laughs> no, a little bit better. This is going from coast to coast. Eh? Oh! Uh, that, that's well. Now, Al, a little villain music, and here is the fellow right here. Uh, hiss him, everybody! Ah! Yeah. yeah. A dirty dog. <laughs> but, but we also have virtue. Now, of course, there are a lot of you who possibly wouldn't recognize Virtue if you saw her, but when Virtue comes out, we would like to have you give her the, the wolf whistle, you know, like... Uh, a little Virtue music now, and here she is. But now, now... Now we would like to have your undivided attention because we are going to black out, black out this international theater at Columbus Circle in New York City. We are going to black out every television set throughout the country because we are going to hop upon our little tillicycle 
and go to the 25th floor of some metropolitan building. <laughs> and we are going to peek through the window at a very dramatic moment during crime does not <laughs> Jump! I won't jump. You heard me jump. I won't jump and you can't make me jump. Jump or I'll blow your brains out. All right, Sheriff, I'll jump. But it's only to save the king. Well, jump. <laughs> Now, now we've got one, one more little hot weather chore for you out there. Well, each and every one of you, reach in your pocket or your pocketbook and take out your handies and wave them for just a moment, will you? Everybody, come on. <clears throat> Everybody, and out there throughout the network, all of you folks in your parlors and your clubs and your tea rooms, everybody, wave your handkerchiefs. Wave them with these creative breeds in there. Come on, everybody, wave them. Ah, now that's fine. Now there's 10 billion germs in the air. <laughs> but no, 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 please, don't put them away. Don't put them away because this is the way we're going to use them. Now when the villain comes out, you're going to hiss the villain. When virtue comes out, you're going to whistle. Now when I come out, for fear you won't recognize me, I'll, I'll wave my hanky at you <laughs> this way, see? Then you all wave your hanky back at me and go, yoo-hoo, <laughs> see? And does that make the hero mad? Now we'll have a little preliminary rehearsal. Now here comes the villain. Everybody kiss him. Kiss the villain. Now here comes virtue. Now here I come. Now you. No, but everybody, everybody, you. That's it. That's it. Camera, action, music.
What are you looking at? I'd give my right arm to put you in jail. Shake. Take it. <laughs> Everybody drinks. Yeah. And when I pay, everybody pays. Yeah. Bring on the girls. Let's have fun. Put a head on. 
Again. with the news before it happened. It's uh, bad news for dead fly gulls tonight. No main Tommy and his killers just swooped down on the city and after a reign of terror, escaped with uh, little virtue into the hills and uh, pursued by Sheriff Johnson and his fireball rangers. There they go now. Johnson is chasing tow main Tommy. Just a moment. They're bunched at the far turn. Don't throw away your tickets. Tow main Tommy is now chasing Johnson. It looks like they're headed south of the border. Down Mexico way. Oh, oh, my mistake. Uh, there, this is an Olsen and Johnson show. They're uh, headed north of the border. A gang of squares approaching the Arctic Circle. Johnson is gaining on Tomain. Johnson is passing Tomain. Tomain is now chasing Johnson. Isn't this sickening? They have reached the city of Frizola. And uh, no relation to Amy. <laughs> Huh? Uh. Huh? Where'd you make it? In oil? No. Uh. No. Selling land to the Union Pacific? No. No. Scalping. Scalping? Tickets to South Pacific. <laughs> well, kiss me, Kate. Hey, I've what? got him. Have you got him? Yes. Put him up. Take your time. Take your time. He's got him. Fishing. New kind of fish. New kind of fish. New kind of fishing. All you got to do is be patient. There we go. Take her up. Pull her up. Ah, a little mermaid. Yeah, 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 yeah. We like this. We like this. I gotta get down. 
How, how deep is the hole? It's all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, you did it good. Go on, get back there. Go on. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Too small. Thank you, one and all, for your hearty reception of those fans in Buick Belfry, Olsen and Johnson. And one moment, please. Here is a special message from the Buick dealers in your vicinity. The Buick dealers in this television area invite you to drive the Buick convertible yourself. Consult your classified telephone directory for the number of your nearest Buick dealer. Then call in first thing tomorrow and say, I'd like to take a trial spin on the Buick convertible. All Buick dealers in this area will gladly arrange a personal demonstration for you. What's more, when you're convinced there's a place in your life for a Buick convertible, we can answer the delivery question quite favorably now. And now it's time to say goodnight for all Buick dealers everywhere and to invite you to our next Fireball Fun for All next Tuesday night, same time, same channel. Tune us in again, won't you?